How's it going guys? Toxic Nerd here. This is the third video I've made here in New Jersey. All of it from, is from New York. Now my brother's got another blaster, which I'll be using. Last review was, and I'm going on a drawer. Last review was this, the double strike. And if you want to check that review out, you can check it out in my channel. Um, I don't know how to put links or put them right here or put them in the description box below, but that's that. And it's a really cool Derringer. Just going to take a, a little peek at it here. And hammer and there. The rest will be in the video, but today's video is going to be on the Nerf. Zombie strike, side strike. And <laughs> these are its darts. A little banged up. Um, some are like loosely falling out, which is this one. But I think if you get them a little bit of moist, I think it will help it. I think that's what I remember it from. And I watched the Cleveland show when I'm muting it for this review. So we'll start off with the front. We have a barrel here, and these are the dart holders, so you can place your darts in. However, do not place this dart in, because it goes all the way in there, like really flush in there. And I, you need to have fingernails to get this out. I mean, works like how it is. <laughs> Oops. Um, you got a rail on the bottom, which is kind of weird if you want to put two grips. I've done a retaliated grip before. Um, we have the, uh, the rear and the back iron sights, which I think they're close to the 1911 or something. Um, there's a big zombie strike logo here with Nerf. Nerf on this side, sight strike on these sides, and the zombie strike logo on these sides, but nothing else. Uh, and Strike Elite logo, so it is a uh, Fire Strike, and it, and it does got that same handle on it, um, except it doesn't have that weird light. Um, triggers what you expect. The pullback's right here. Um, it's got a wooden handle design, which I like. It's nice and uh, firm as well. Um, this is the top priming slide is where the iron sights are, so you just pull this back, which, as you can see, the Zombie Strike logo is cut out, they slide that back, it's got a return spring. Um, when you first get it, the prime's like, kind of like that, it's like stiff, but in this it's not. Um, and after you're done priming, all you do is just pull that trigger. And it's it's what you expect for a, a fire strike. It performs well. I mean, I'm not going to show tests, I mean... I mean, I can hit the wall here, and it's all right. Um, but we'll go over the holster. <laughs> I'm actually going to take these darts out, because this is ridiculous. Just These darts just flopping out. But the holster has a big Zombie Strike logo. The copyright information is here, which both of them are 2013, so this is like a bit three years old. Um, ammo storage is here. There is a clip here so you can attach it to your uh, your belt or something or your pants. I got shorts on but this is the way it's supposed to be and then you can put your side strike like like this like you can have a, like how Indiana Jones does it and you could do a quick pew 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 or you could turn it on the flip side and you could do a crosshair which um To be honest, I think the crosshair. Wait, let me let me think of this for a second. Yeah, crosshair is much faster. Um, these little notches here, these little grooves right here on the on the uh, the uh, belt loop here, are basically for you to put the belt on. Um, like I said, big zombie strike logo. They both got zombie strike logos. And it fits. It fits the the. Uh, it fits the Zombie Strike Super Soaker Extinguisher and the Alpha Fire in there pretty nicely. And it fits the Fire Strike pretty good too. 
And as this is what it looks like in the front, you can actually fire it, but you cannot prime it with the holster. I mean, you could try to do it like this because there's a light. It's like a little cut up here so you can prime it, but it won't return back. And plus, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want any like break on the, uh, on the slide. But it comes out pretty nicely. And putting the darts in, that's what they look like in there. And I'll put one of the darts in, which it's going to pop out. I'm just going to put one of these in. So this is what the fire strike looks like. I mean, the dart's going to pop out a bit, but whatever. And again, the fire is pretty nice. I'm actually going to shoot out a wall. That whistled. I'm going to take put another dart in. And you, as you can see, that popped out. Not bad. I mean, the fire strike's supposed to get elite performance, so that's fine. Oh, what the? Hey, hang, hang on a sec, guys. And I'm back. Sorry, I was just looking at something on the uh, Cleveland show. But still, it it does pretty well. It is pretty good. And as far as like again, as, as far as ranges go, it's it's a it's a zombie strike version of a fire strike. So I'm not gonna down it too much. This here. So we're not gonna down it too much, but I would definitely get this and do not, do not put a dud dart, which is a dart with no tip, in here because if you can hear this, I mean it shoot it, but not as far. So don't be putting any sort of dart in this thing. Don't even put any dart dart. So yeah, so that's the review. Um, I definitely would get this blaster. Um, and another thing is, before before I sign off on my own kind of terms, is that you get five zombie strike darts when actually you're supposed to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven darts total. Like four in the holster, three in the back. So that's the review. Thanks for watching, and Nerf, make sure you get your ammo counts right. And don't forget, stay scary. I can't even prime it with the dark. Still got darts left, 80. You keep running like this. Jeez. I better sign off quick. See you guys.